Hi sunshines, happy Friday. Um, um, yung phone ko was Um, I'm ready. We're going to Seoul today. And by the way, guys, yesterday, sana pupunta kami ng Daegu. But then, hindi na tuloy because the weather is really bad. Yeah, napakadilim sa labas. And yesterday, ganun din. Also, noong Wednesday night, um, nag-try kami mag-book ng hotel. But then, wala kami makita ang malapit ka nila, Lisa. So, pinagpaliban muna namin. And yesterday, sana kami mag-book. But then, we woke up late. And... Noong Wednesday night, nakalimutan namin i-shut yung balcony window. So, basang-basa yung, yung balcony namin. Um, Tawag nang bumaha sa balcony. Sa kaya kaya na, kinailangan ni Tim magligpit. And maraming boxes doon ng mga damit na sana ano ayusin ko. I-dispose or whatsoever na hindi namin kailangan. So, nabasa lahat. Kaya, naglinis si Timmy. And... Hindi kami nakapag-book ng hotel. Tapos, yung weather is really bad as well. So, sabi ko na lang, ipagpaliban na lang muna namin. Kasi nga, pangit yung weather. At saka, meron kaming dapat ayusin. And may sakit din yung baby nila. So, sabi ko, maybe it's best time if ipagpaliban na lang namin. And mag-risked na lang kami. Kasi nga, mag din kami ng Seoul. And yung day go is not, hindi siya actually on the way. Parang ganito siya. Nag-triangle siya. <laughs> Punta kami doon, 4 hours, 4 hours, 4 hours. Sabi ko, next time na lang. Thankfully, they understand naman kasi nga sa, sa situation na yun. And, yeah, yesterday we didn't do much. Naglinis lang si Timmy and then we prepared everything na kailangan namin for today. For our travel to Seoul. Um, hindi siya pwede i-cancel yung aming lakad ngayon. Despite ng situation ngayon sa Seoul, which is bumabaha. As in, nakakatakot yung baha, guys. And then, it's currently raining again. I'm not sure of what's happening in Seoul. So, yeah, we can cancel kasi nakasked na siya. And, if hindi kami pumunta, sayang yung pera, guys. Sayang yung book ng hotel. Binayad namin dun sa appointment. Nasa almost 20,000 pesos din yun kaya para i-cancel kasi hindi namin marirefund yung pera guys tsaka sabi naman ng friend namin don't worry because kasi doon niya katira yung boyfriend niya sabi niya ano hindi naman daw ganun ka bad tapos yung road na parang doon sa area na bumaba ngayon sa Han River is strado daw so parang safe naman tapos mayroon din akong Filipina friend doon doon sila nakatira sabi niya hindi naman daw ganun ka bad. And sabi niya, hindi daw uulan siguro sa weather forecast. Hindi daw uulan. So, hopefully, hopefully, hindi ganun ka bad. <laughs> Nag-worry lang ako guys. Iwan ko ba? Dami, ang dami kong worries. Siguro ano lang yung party lang yung pagiging preggy natin. But I'm um, nag-overreact. But um, yeah, I'm ready. I mean, almost ready. Si Timmy andun sa kitchen. Nag-prepare nag -pre 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 siya ng breakfast namin. Dadala, dadala lang kami ng mga crisps and juices, water, um, sandwiches and fajitas. Fajitas or salad drops. But yeah, magbabaon na lang kami guys. Hindi nalagay lang namin sa cooler bag because we're not planning to stop by nga sa service area para kumain kasi nga maraming tao maraming travelers dito sa Korea so ayaw namin makipagmingle sa napakaraming tao because we didn't know kung sino yung mga nakasalamot nila para nga rin safe if ever man na mag stop kami maybe if we need I need the bathroom kasi nga part of being pregnant is the <laughs> 
needs of bathroom. Napaka often kung mag 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 use ng bathroom, guys. Too wee wee. Too wee wee. Hindi ako masyadong nag-apply ng mga makeup this this kay since nag 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 Right now, I'm going to moisturizer lang kasi madalas mag-dry yung lips ko. And I need to wear mask anyway. Kaya ayaw ko mag-trace yung foundation sa mask and yung lipstick. Mm. Alright! Ow! Alin ko na lang yung charger na sa bag ko. And then, I'm off. Hintayin ko na lang si Timmy matapos. Hindi naman kami makakagala doon dahil nga sa weather and sa pandemic. This trip is talagang for important matter lang. Hindi para mag-travel-travel. Ito sana yung isusuot ko guys kanina. It's a oversized t-shirt. Kasi gusto ko siya. But then, kahit na malaking-malaki na tayo, it's so big as well. And napakaganon siya. Yung neck and bukas dito sa chest is, is is so big. Tapos. Hewan ko ba? No. What? Nung nagka... Since nung nagkabuntis ako, <laughs> I, I had a really bad um, acne outbreak. Fake acne outbreak or break. Basta nagkaroon ako ng acne and marami siyang marks. Mayroon pa actually siya mga tubo-tubo na konting ano, hindi ano. Basta ang pangit na tingnan guys. At tapos yung mga folds, folds ng neck ko. Para siya mag-darken color. Oh, uh, darken color. Nag-darken yung mga lines niya. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, I'm so not comfortable. And, yeah. But then, ano, at first, as in super worried ko guys, sabi ko, hindi naman ganito ka dark to, especially mga underwear, underwear, under <laughs> Bakit ganito? Bakit, bakit parang kumitim ata yung kilikili ko, tsaka yung, yung liog ko. Kasi nga first time ko ma-pregnant, hindi, hindi ko alam yung mga signs and everything noon. So I was like, complaining to Timmy. So I was like, I need to get this kind of scrub, yung, yung body scrub, hindi na, hindi na may epekto sa akin. <laughs> so, bumalik kami ng mga body scrub sa the, on the body, sa face shop. Actually, hindi ko na nga rin siya ginagamit ngayon kasi nag-worry na rin ako mag-apply ng mga ng too much. Later on, nagbabasa-basa na ako ng mga signs ng pregnancy, mga daling ganun. And then, part nun, yung, yung ganun nga, nagda-darken yung mga lines kasi sa pigmentation something like that. Yung iba nagiging rosy. But then ako, hindi ako pinagpala na maging ganun blooming. Ako, it's getting like more brownish or dark in mga lines. As you can see guys. So sometimes, I still feel like ano pa tawag yung conscious? Na parang <laughs> it doesn't look good. But then at the same time, ayaw kong gumamit ng mga harsh chemicals. Too much chemicals sa body ko. Kasi nga, it's not good for baby. So, yeah. I gave up on that, and yeah, babies are priority. Sabi naman after after baby was born, unti unti na mong babalik yung skin mo sa dadit. So yeah, ah, it's alright. It's alright, baby. Anyways, guys, nasa ano na palako? One week past my seventh month, and look. This is how big my belly is, guys. Nyan. Tada! It's so big! Oh my god! By the way, guys, if na papan si nyo to, baka isipin yung weird naman ng bracelet. Hindi ito bracelet, guys. Ano to? Um, C band para sa travel sickness. Kasi nga, mahihiloy na ko, guys. Bilis ako masok ko. And also, hindi rin ako guys nakaligtas sa stretch mark. Look. 
Yan, my goodness. But then, I'm not too shy to worry about it now. Nung first time, nung, nung bago pa lang, nung nasa second trimester pa lang ko, lumalabas pa lang siya. I am so worried. Oh, it's so ugly na. But then now, nah. I don't care. It's my baby in there. My baby needs room. So yeah. And yeah, look at that, guys. It's really, really bad. Yung acne ko. But, I don't want to do too much about it right now. Magpapaderma na lang kami. If hindi pa siya matanggal after baby, then magpapaderma kami. Sabi naman ng doktor ko, normal lang naman daw yun sa ibang nagbubuntis. And Anla, and yeah, apparently, I'm not one of those moms na nakaligtas sa mga ganito-ganitong mga ano, tawag nun? Pregnancy signs? Ano ba yung tawag nun? Basta, yung stretch marks nga and yung acne and yung pigmentation, darkening pigmentation. But yeah, this is my belly. So big. <laughs> Nag-shirt lang ako kasi para ano, comfortable. Total, nasa car lang naman kami. Hindi naman kami magkagala-gala. Um, pagdating naman namin ng Seoul, diretso lang naman kami nga sa hotel. So yeah.